Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Today we've got a special build. I was contacted by a friend of mine who just happens to own a coffee company. And not only does they own the company, but it's owned by veterans and operated by veterans. And I said, you know, it'd be a really good idea. Let me build a car for you that represents your coffee company. Well, he was all for it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a 55 gasser and we're going to strip it down and we're going to build it back up to represent Air Warrior Coffee Company. Again, operated by veterans and owned by veterans. So stick around and see what I came up with. I think you'll enjoy this. This was a lot of fun. Okay, we got the 55. We went ahead and drilled it apart. And you've seen this quite a few times because I love using this base. And we're going to strip it down. We've got all the standard parts, the interior, the exterior, the windshield. But the base, we're going to go ahead and switch it out with another 55 gasser. At least to get a good wheel swap there. Well, this is where we're going to get our base from. Let's go ahead and get the body in the stripper. Here we're going to throw the body in a stripper and get it down to the bare metal. Throw it in the citrus strip, get it coated on the inside and the outside, and then we'll go from there. This usually only takes about 20 minutes. Let's let it set for a bit and we'll get back to it. Okay, here's the body. We cleaned it up, we rubbed it down with degreaser, we scrubbed it up. Now we're going to hit it with a coat of opaque white. This paint here comes from the Redline shop. They've got a bunch of opaque colors, and these colors you don't have to put down any primer because they cover so well. Now you can if you want to, but you don't need to, and I didn't in this case. Make sure you put your tack coats on. Spray it lightly, let it dry in between coats. We'll just finish up these tack coats first, and then we'll move on. Here we're going to put down the second layer of coats. Now we can put them down a little bit heavier. Make sure you get all the hard to reach areas, like inside the fender wells, inside where the engine sits, etc. Just to make sure you get good, complete coverage. Make sure that when you're spraying back and forth that you're covering the entire body. You don't want to put little dribs and drabs of paint. Make sure you're sweeping the entire length of the body so the paint goes on evenly. You don't want to get in there like you're just dabbing with a paintbrush. This will help you get a nice smooth even coat. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell to be alerted to future videos. This is starting to lay down really nice. And the best part of this is that it dries to a really high gloss shine. So it will uh, be a beautiful finish. Now we've got the top half of the car and the quarter panel in the back taped off. And we're going to coat the car with a nice coat of silver. This gives it the, tr the traditional 55 Chevy look. And again, here we're going to put down tack coats, so put them down really light, because you also, you don't want it to bleed underneath the tape, you want it to lay down nice. This is going to be a really nice, smooth contrast to the white that's already on there. You'll be able to see them stand out from each other. Looking good. Let's go ahead and put down a little bit more silver just to make sure that everything was covered well. Be real careful now when you're spraying underneath because if your tape isn't laid down properly it will spray up into the window and onto your back parts like your trunk etc. So if you don't have it taped off good be real careful about spraying underneath because it will leak under. 
looking good. All right, we peeled the tape off. Now we're going to put on the decals. Now these decals were made by Kenny Terry at KennyTerry.com. Kenny does some beautiful work with the decals. Just get a hold of him, ask him what you'd like to have or like to see, and he'll make them up for you. Also, if you mention Diecast Graveyard, in the comments section when you place your order, put the word Graveyard. You will get a 10% discount from KennyTerry.com. This emblem here is all five branches of the service. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, and the Coast Guard. You know, something I didn't realize until I joined the service is that the Coast Guard is a branch of the Department of Transportation. I didn't know that until I joined the services. But they still do their part and they're very much needed. Now here we got a little emblem that says, thank you for your service. This is going to be a really beautiful paint job and decal job, guys. Using your Q-tip or your cotton bud, whatever you want to call it, go ahead and position it and then squeegee out the water that's underneath. I also went over it later on with some Microset to help it lay down really nice. This is turning out sweet. My friend Kevin is going to love this. If it starts to stick and it's not in the position where you want, put it down, put a little bit more water on top of it, and it will float the decal again and you should be able to move it. There you go. Just be careful. Let's go ahead and move on. Here we've got a decal for the trunk. It says veteran owned and veteran operated with the Air Force bomber logo on it or fighter logo also. But uh, man, this car is going to be sweet. I'm really excited about this piece. Again, same thing. Go ahead and take your Q tip and smooth it out. Now sometimes as it goes around corners, the decals, it'll start to pucker a little bit. Once you get the water squeegeed out, again, use your microset and smooth it out. And it will take out those little bumps and the little ridges. And it will conform really nice to your car because it actually kind of melts the decal and helps it fit into grooves, etc. Nice, that's exactly where I wanted it. Sweet. I'm digging that for sure. Let's go ahead and move on. Now we've got the side of the car. Here we've got the back quarter panel logo that says Air Warrior Coffee Company. Get it centered the way you want. Get the lettering above the wheel well. And then use your Q-tip and squeegee it out. That's looking nice. Let's go ahead and move on. Now we've got the door emblem. Here's the logo from the Air Warrior Coffee Company. They sent me a box with some samples of the coffee and I had all I could do to keep from tearing into it. I wanted to have the bags of coffee all set up for the end of the video to set up next to the car. And uh, man, I tell you what, after this video is over, I'm having me a nice, beautiful, delicious smelling cup of coffee, I'll tell you, because it smells fantastic and I can't wait to get into it. Center the logo where you want it, using your Q-tip or whatever you got there, go ahead and squeegee it out. That's going to be nice. We got a few more decals we put on. We put a 427 logo on there and we put the gasser classification logo on there too and this is what we started with a base shell 55 chevy gasser i love these cars and they make excellent customs for whatever you want to do get them stripped down take them apart get them painted again and you can come up with anything you want to it's just up to your imagination and i encourage you to do that take your car apart 
paint it up how you want it, put some decals on it, get a hold of Kenny Terry, and he'll take care of you. And uh, you can make yourself a beautiful custom, guys. And don't hesitate to ask for advice. That's what we make these videos for. But if you don't see anything that you're, that'll answer your question, contact me in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you. It's my absolute pleasure. And this is what we got to. Look at this beautiful car. This 55 Air Warrior Coffee Company Gasser. Owned by veterans, operated by veterans. And man, what a great product they have. That coffee is absolutely incredible. Guys, you can get online and you can order coffee from these folks. It's, uh, you're supporting veterans and uh, hey, you're getting a great cup of coffee too. This is fantastic. I'm very, very proud of this build. This was an honor to make this car for these nice folks. Got the silver and the white. I almost went with a light blue and I still may in the future to do this. But uh, Kenny Terry really came through on these decals. These things are fantastic. Don't forget to contact him at www.kennyterry.com. And here's some of the coffee that they offer. This is only a few of them. UH60 Blackhawk Lift. Bad to the Bone Blend. B B1 Bomber. And B52 Buff Bold. www.airwarriorcoffee.net Please contact these folks and you're supporting veterans. And you're getting a great cup of coffee too. Man... What a fantastic build and what a great product. Thank you so much, you guys. I really enjoyed this build. It was a lot of fun. I'd like to say thank you to all my Patreons, uh, Patreon members. All you guys, I could not do this without you. But I definitely would like to highlight new member in the Hearst Driver area, Diecast Pirate. Brother, thank you so much for joining the, the crew. And... You'd be in, doing me an honor by joining my Patreon team and helping out. It, it only takes a small subscription fee, and these monies that I get from you folks go to helping to replenish my supplies as I do these videos. Your help is very much needed and very much wanted, but overall, very much appreciated. And thank you so much for all your help. And all the current members, you guys absolutely rock. I could not do this without you. Thank you for joining me today on Diecast Graveyard and the Air Warrior Coffee Company. Thank you so much and thanks for subscribing to my videos. If you don't subscribe, please do. Hope you're staying healthy during this pandemic, you and your family. Thank you and cheers.